Hey there, it's Jason Sweezy here from Forex Pipsnager and Forex U-Turn. Shooting these um, videos very uh, late in the day. Uh, it's like 1.22 in the afternoon here now. Um, but I'll still get them out to you on time. Okay, so uh, let's sh uh, talk talk charts here. Okay, so we're looking at the Pipsnager here, uh, five minute time frame. 10 o'clock GMT is way over here, ladies and gents. I think I'll take this auto scroll off here. Okay, you see that beautiful run up we had in the Asia and the run down yesterday, eh? Beautiful, beautiful moves. Double bottom, up we go. Okay, so let's look at 10 o'clock. It was black in the filter here. So basically, uh, there was no trading in here. And then we went to blue, then to black, then to red, then to black, then to red, then to black, then to blue. So what does that tell you? Stay out. Stay out of the market. That's the filter that tells you not to trade. Okay? So anyway, then what we got here was a break through that resistance right in here okay and came down and this was our dip to buy right there ladies and gents so if you got long right there it went against you very little two pips plus the spread the peanut butter spread no I'm just joking and uh anyway um To our major resistance up here, it broke through this resistance also here. So it didn't break through this one, but all these three lower highs here. Okay. So anyway, we definitely had our 25 pips to the tops from our entry point right here to here. So we were good to go. So this was a buy right here. The only problem with this was is there was news about to come here. This was the news spike right here. Okay. So, if you don't mind jumping in the trade with the news and you see the, the setup happen, well, you can. So, you would have put your stop here, 44 pips, and you would have got your 44 pips right up to here. So, you would have got your one-to-one -one ratio, win-stop-loss uh, ratio. Okay, so anyway, then for those who missed this trade and waited till after the news like me, okay, we had some deep dips here, but it worked, okay? I bought a dip in here today, made, made a few pips, okay, uh, I came back down again, and you know, when it comes through our trend line and trigger line, it's kind of scary, um, but it shot up again, um, if you were to put a 50 moving average on here, it basically bounced off the 50 right here, so I don't know if I ever told you guys that before, but a 50 is very, very important as well, you may want to add that to your chart. I know I've never said that before, but 50 EMA, that is. Um, so anyway, you'll see that price will bounce off the 50. I, I, I'll put it on here just to show you what I mean. Move an average. Okay, here we go, ladies and gents. There's a 50. And we'll make it red for this example. And we'll do exponential. Okay. See? Right here, to a T, bounce off the 50, zing! And then right here again, it struggled around the 50, and uh, it also struggled around the whole number of 35 right in here. So if I move this up, there's 35, see? See how it came down to 35, struggled, it's around 35, struggled. For those of you um, who uh, on my Forex U-turn system, you know, you, you could probably use the the indicator, um, the whole numbers indicator uh, on here, um, and it'll tell you these whole numbers. Okay, so anyway, uh, trading was over um, over here somewhere. Uh, you could have got in here, made your 50 pips, or bought a couple dips into here, and that's it for the euro. Basically, uh, this trading is over. See now. It's coming back up to the trigger trend line, and we're going to come probably right down now 
you come down to this double low of earlier today. Double bottom. Round top. Here's a round top, what they call a round top. Ding, 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 ding. If you were to draw a circle, it'll be like a round circle. They have round bottoms, too. Woo, woo. Okay. Like I said, enough about this chart. Let's go on to the one minute. Oh, the one minute I never adjusted the time yet. Okay, let me put on the 9 o'clock. Back to the one minute. Take off the auto scroll. Let's go back in time. Okay, so here is 9 o'clock GMT, which is Dublin Open in Ireland. Um, anyway, uh, there was no trade in here because it was blowing the filter. By the time it turned red, which is way over here, the reason why it took so long because it was in such a long bull trend. See how long it was blue all the way up through the age recession. Blue, blue, blue. Don't sell, don't sell. Blue, keep buying the dips. Blue, blue. Okay, so um, did we have a trade right here? What time was this? This was 10.29, 3.30 in the morning. Okay, but it just, let's see here. It just, yes, it just broke. Yes, this was a trade. It broke through support. Not by much, but it still did it, ladies and gentlemen. So this would have been your trade right here to enter at 3.29 a.m. in the morning. You would have sold it right there, and down she went. And guaranteed, you got your 10 pips. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, 24 pips to the bottom. Gotta love it. Love it, love it, love it. So there was no other trades, and then by that time, our two-hour window of opportunity to scalp the market was over. So you made your pips right here on this one trade. Okay? There was no trade over here. The trade was here. You had to wait an hour and a half for it to perfectly set up. You know, it, it's amazing how I come here day after day. I've been doing this religiously now, ladies and gentlemen, for over two years. Okay? And I don't charge you anything for it. I'm doing it out of the goodness of my heart to, to show you each and every day that my trading systems work, okay? And, you know, I still have people go, oh, I'm not talking about you that are still with me that, you know, never requested a refund. But I'm talking about these people who, who get these refunds and they go, oh, I can't, I got one today. He says, oh, I can't, I can't trade your system at work. I want a refund. What kind of excuse is that? So anyway, you know, I prove it to you guys day after day. I show you the setups. If you wait and you have the patience to wait for it to set up and everything's in alignment and then the moon and the stars and the boogeyman, okay? If everything's in alignment and you trade it, more often than not, you will win. It's just, I understand that you, you'll sit, you'll sit and sit and sit. If you, if you came and you traded this last night, I didn't. I was sleeping. I traded the U.S. session today. But if I, if I, I too would be the same as you. I'd be sitting there all this time. Oh, look, look, no trade, no trade. You'd see this, and this would probably get you going, you know. But there was no trade in there either, okay? Because it has to be a fresh cross. And if it would have squeezed up a little bit more into the trend line here, there could have been a trigger to go short right here, okay? Um, and in here. Yeah, you would have got your 10 pips there too. Okay, even if you did that as a trade. The filter lined up. The only thing that didn't really coordinate or collaborate, or that's not the word I'm looking for either. Um, the only thing that didn't cooperate with us was that this trigger line didn't come up over the, tr the trend and then come back down and create the gap. Um, but anyway... I, too, would have got frustrated waiting all this time. And then finally, it sets up when there's only half an hour left. You're sitting there for an hour and a half waiting to get your 10 pips. But I tell you, if you sit and you wait, it will happen. Not every night, but you'll get them. You'll get your pips. Okay, so anyway, I think I talked enough uh, about this. Um, the reason why I went on about that is just because people request refunds. And, and I don't know why it's like... 
the, the system works. It's Yes, it's, it's, stu it's so simple, it's stupid, but it works. And that's all that matters is that it works. You know, people have to overcomplicate things, and they want things to be complicated when they don't need to be. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, uh, so that's it for the one minute. Let's look at the pound now and see what it gave us. Oh, yeah, we got to go to the one hour. One sec here. Ten o'clock. Yeah, it was a mess here. It was a mess for sure. They, a lot of rigmaroo here. Chop, slop, chop. Yes, indeed. So, anyway, uh, your first trade would have been right here. But it wouldn't have been because... It actually wouldn't have been because it bounced off of... Here, let me take that auto scroll off. Your trade would not have been here because it, it basically came down off of here. But, you see, then it shot up really fast and we came back down. Yeah, that was news time. That was 4.30. So th there's nothing going on here. Okay, there was no, there was no trade here. It was just a reversal off the news. Um, so anyway, then again, we had a, another thing here, but you really needed to break through this now. You didn't do it. There was no trade there either. There was no trade, no trade, no trade on these two gaps. Okay? And here as well, came back down right off of to a T almost. Well, went through it a pip. That doesn't count. Came right back down again. Came right back down. 23 pips. I would have not done this trade. But if you did buy a dip here, well, you got fortunate. You could have took profits again right here at resistance and made about 20 pips or so. Um, then we came into the, you know, the U.S. session here. And the same thing. There was no, there was no buying dips in here because it was just Bouncing off resistance, bouncing off resistance, bouncing off resistance. And it finally broke through it up here um, and came back down. So if you did get in on a trade here, by then it was too late because trading is over. Because it's like lunchtime, 19, 1900 hours on this platform is 12 o'clock noon. So anyway, it would have ended there. So there was no trades in all of these gaps. And I explained, except for this one dip here, you could have bought a dip here. But in here, in here, and in here. There was no trades for all the right reasons that I just explained. Ooh, I'm talking a lot here today. Okay, hold on. Let's go to the Swissy here now. and us try and wrap this up. Okay, one hour. Oh, I'm running out of water here. Ten o'clock. Okay. Five minute. Okay, so here now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I just gotta, I gotta scroll back here because look at that. Basically went up through resistance here, came down real quick. How many pips was that? Yeah, I guess you could have bought a dip right here. It was like 10 minutes to 3 in the morning. It would have went against you and came back up and gave you a few pips, not many. And, uh, it, well, it probably would have turned into a loser over here. You would have got out with a loser. There was a losing trade there. Um, and here, okay, this setup, it was at what time? 15.10. This is 10 minutes after 8. So here's a perfect sell right here. We broke through the, the support, came back up, filter was red, everything was go. Right there, boom, sell it. Would have went against you a few pips. And your risk to reward, you got 20 pips, so say 30 pips to the top was your stop. And you got 44 to the bottom. You would have got your one-to-one -one risk loss ratio. Okay, so that's it for Pipsnagger. Let's quickly look at the Forex U-turn. Oh, boy. We got lots of M's and W's here today. Oh, my goodness. What a chop, 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 slop, chop. There's a W to buy. Here's the blue to buy in the filter. So if you got long hair, it came down, almost hit your stop. Then shot back up, and if you were in that trade, you probably would have said, "Okay, I'm getting out now." You know, break even or with two, five to ten pips, whatever. I would have, after it what would have almost hit my stop many, many hours later. Um, and now it's saying, you know, it said buy again, so maybe you would have stuck with it. I don't know, but then they crashed it down again, right down to 34.50. Um, 
It's looking very bearish right now. You got a signal to go short basically right now. Uh, it's right in the filter. You got the M forming. When this bar closes, this will cross and we'll have an M formation. But again, it's near the end of the day. You really like to take the signals during market action. Let's look at the pound. Pound gave a W to buy right here, but there was no filter confirming it. So aggressive traders would have got in long. And most you could have got was maybe 50 pips out of it. Not, not a good day, ladies and gentlemen, not a good day. So anyway, I just want to say um, one last thing here before I close today um, is on Tuesday, November the 22nd, I'll be coming out with my latest and greatest system. It's called One Hour Forex. Um, tomorrow I'll be sending you an email and... Uh, I'll be giving all my past clients a chance to win a free copy of it. So be sure to sign up, okay, because I just might pick your name. I'm picking them randomly, and you might get, get the system for free. Um, and, and I'm not like these other clowns out there who say, oh, yeah, put in your name and leave a comment in the blog and... Tell us why you we should give you a copy and blah, blah, blah. I'm not doing that. Okay, I just picked the names randomly. Um, and, al and also, a lot of these guys, they, they say they're giving away a copy and they never do. Okay? Um, they're, just, they're just playing a game with you. When I say I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to award three free copies to people, you bet your little booty there's going to be three people who get a copy of One Hour Forex absolutely free because they have won and I drawn their name okay so anyway thanks for watching and we'll talk with you soon